Good morning again, guys. Today we are going to have now language arts class. And first, we are going to remember the value of the week. We have been talking about true beauty, not the one that is from the outer side or your physical beauty, but the beauty that comes from inside. So let's see. Beauty is not about having a pretty face. It is about having a pretty mind, a pretty heart, and most importantly, a beautiful soul. So let's bow your heads, close your eyes, and let's pray to Jesus to help us to be beauty or to have the true beauty that comes from a kind heart. Dear Jesus in heaven, thank you again for the opportunity of learning new things. Today we are receiving language class art in this moment and we ask you to help us to develop true beauty because we want to be like, like Jesus. We want to have uh, all the traits of character that he had or, she, or he has. Help us to be kind with others. Help us to be friendly, humble, obedient, and to develop all those characteristics that a son and a daughter of you should have, should show to the others. So in that way, others are going to see that Jesus lives in our hearts. Because we ask you all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. So today, guys, we are going to be learning about main idea and supporting details. Do you remember Friday in Science? We were talking also about main idea and details. When we talk about the main idea, we are talking about what the text is about. So when we are reading a passage, we, we have to ask ourselves, what is this text about? What is this text telling to me? So by asking that and answering that question, you are going to find the main idea. Remember what the text is about. And now, which one are the details? So, the details are the evidence that supports the main idea or are more information about the main idea. Details give more information or explain more the main idea. So, now I want you to See this video that you saw last week, but it's very, very uh, illustrative and very good for you to remember what main idea and details are. So let's see the video.
created using Powtoon. Let's review what we saw in the video. Main idea and detail are like a bench. We are going to use a bench to understand what main idea and details are. What is the main idea? The main idea is what the text is mostly about. Remember that you have to ask, what is the text about? What does it tell me? And supporting details give more information about the main idea. Here we have a bench, tell me. Can you sit down in a bench that does not have these parts of here, these sticks, and it has only this part? Can this part stand without this? ¿Se puede sostener esto without this? No, right? The main idea needs these supporting details to, uh, to stand, okay, like a bench. So let's imagine a bench in which this part is the main idea and these, the sticks, are the supporting details that help the main idea to stand on. So by here, let's practice. I have this text. My sister is a girl with an inner beauty. She is always smiling to others. When she can, she helps people in need. She always shares kind words with others. And by here we have our bench. Here is going to be the main idea and these ones are the supporting details. So in this paragraph, ask yourself, what is the paragraph about? What is this passage about? Does it talk about doctors or cats? No, right, it talks about my sister. And what is the passage saying about, about my sister in general, in a general way? My sister is a girl with an inner beauty. Remember that we were talking about inner beauty today in Bible. So let's, let's write that in our main idea. My sister is a girl with an inner beauty because the passage is talking about that. And you are going to say, but why are you saying that your sister is a girl with an inner beauty? Give me reasons, give me details, give me more information. Ah, because, let's see, she is always smiling to others. So, this one is a detail because it's explaining more about the main idea, I am saying that my sister has an inner beauty, so I am saying or giving, giving you reasons why I am saying that she has a, an inner beauty. So one of the details is she smiles to others. You don't have to copy exactly the same words, but you have to keep the idea, okay? So you have to use your own words or summarize them. What else? Another detail? When she can, she helps people in need. That is another characteristic of someone with an inner beauty. So, let's add this supporting detail to the main idea. She helps people in need. And what else can you find in the passage for you to explain why my sister is a girl with a, an inner beauty. She always shares kind words with others. Remember kind words, not mm, uh, rude words. So here we have another um, detail. She shares kind words. So if you see all these characteristics or reasons that I gave, explain or give more information about this main idea that I have here. They are explaining why you and I are saying that my sister is a girl with an inner beauty. So now it's time to go to learning destination, page 82. I want you to go 
to learning destination page 82. And in here we have again what the main idea and details are. And I want you to I want you to underline uh, what the main idea and details are. So by here we have that the main idea. is the most important idea about a paragraph or a passage or article. And the details are pieces of information that are going to tell us more information about the main idea. So let's read these, the directions. Read the following passage and complete the diagram. State the main idea of the passage and three supporting details. So here we have the graphic organizer. Here you are going to write the main idea, detail one, detail two, and detail three. So let's read the passage all together. Artist Wesley Dennis, 1903 to 1966, was an expert at painting horses. He had the ability to capture each horse's personality in his paintings. In 1945, writer Margaret Henry asked him to illustrate her first book, Justin Morgan, Have a Horse. He illustrated 15 of Henry's horse's books, including King of the Wind and Misty of Chincoteague. All three of these books were very popular with children and won awards for children's literature. Dennis is also known for his paintings in Anna Sewell's powerful story, Black Beauty. So, if you need to read the passage again, stop the video and read it. But now, I need you to ask yourself what is the passage about? Because we have to find the main idea. So you have to ask yourself. You were reading this passage, so what is the passage about? It's about artist Wesley Dennis. But what else? What was the passage saying about him? Was he a doctor, an, an important doctor, or a famous actor, or what? was an expert at painting horses. Excellent. So in this case, in this occasion, we found the main idea in the beginning, but not always the first sentence is going to be the main idea. Sometimes we are going to find the main idea in the middle or, all, or <laughs> sometimes at the end. So you have to be very careful with that. You have to read the entire passage and you have to ask, ah, after reading all the passage, you have to ask, okay, what is this passage about? What is this passage telling me? And in this case, it's telling me that artist Wesley Dennis was an expert at painting horses. So that one is my main idea. Wesley Dennis was an expert at painting horses. So we already have the main idea. Now, in this charts of here, you have to provide evidence or more information or reasons why the passage says that Wesley Dennis was an expert at painting horses. Why? I want you to read, for example, you have to read again for you to find it, but I want you to read this, this part of here. I'm going to help you with one detail and you are going to give me two more details. So let's read by here. Writer Margaret Henry asked him to illustrate her first book, Justin Morgan Had a Horse. So do you think is this one a reason to say that Wesley Dennis was an expert at painting horses? Yes or not? Yes, right? Because if a writer asks him to be the illustrator of, of her book, it's be, 
because Wesley Dennis was an expert in, in horses. So she was looking for someone important, for someone, uh, for an expert at drawing and illustrating. So let's write that detail in here. Margaret Henry asked him to illustrate her books. And not only one, he illustrated 15 of Margaret Henry's book. So that means that it's true that Dennis was an expert at painting horses. So what other evidence or reasons or supporting details can you find in the passage to support the main idea or to give more information about the main idea? So this part, number two, number four, and number five is homework to you. Here you have to give me another detail and in number four also another detail. And in number five, listening number five, write a one sentence summary of this passage. So read this passage again and in one sentence you have to summarize what this passage uh, tells you in one sentence in here. Okay? So that is what you have to do as homework. And now I need you to go to page 83. Here we have another passage. In here we are not going to find uh, main ideas or details. We are going to do something else, something different. So in here you have to read the passage. And then you have to answer number one, number two, and number three. So let's read the passage. How cell phones changed lives. The cell phone is the modern invention that has changed people's lives the most. Before cell phones were invented, people were unable to contact one another without being inside a house where there was a landline telephone. Now you use a cell phone to call people when you are just about anywhere. You can also use cell phones for more than uh, just for phone call calls. Cell phones now come in all shapes and sizes. You can keep them in your purse, pocket, or even attached to your ear. There are some cell phones that you can attach to your ear. Cell phones are used to send email, surf the internet, and play games. You can even take photos or make videos using your phone. A cell phone can be a telephone, a computer, a camera, and a camcorder, a game player, and a music player all in one. Imagine if you had to carry around all of those things in your school bag at the same time. That would be too much. Don't you agree? For these reasons, I think the cell phone is the most important invention of our times. So, number one says, underline the topic sentence. The topic sentence is the first sentence that you are going to find in the passage. So this number one is easy, it's a gift to you. Because the only thing you have to do is to underline the first sentence in your paragraph. Sentence, remember that a sentence ends where you find the first period. So in the topic sentence, we can find also uh, the topic that we are going to talk about in the passage and it's very alike to the main idea. Okay, so let's underline the topic sentence. Number two says, list two examples of details or relevant evidence that support the writer's viewpoint. So in other words, well, this page is very alike to um, main idea in details. So, remember that the details support the main idea or the topic sentence. So, what examples can we find in this paragraph that are going to 
help the topic sentence that tells about cell phone as the modern invention that has changed people's life the most. Why the writer is saying that? Tell me two examples. What can you do with the cell phone? You can send email. What else? Surf the internet or look for information in internet or video calls, calls, messages, use the cell phone as calculator, computer camera, cam recorder. So let's write two of those examples. Cell phones can send email. And what else? You can call someone from almost anywhere. So here the author is giving two reasons to support that cell phone is one of the most important invention of all the times because with only one cell phone like this one you can do many things and you can do it everywhere it doesn't matter where you are you can call you can send message you can use a calculator you can surf the internet you can do anything everywhere anywhere so in here in number three says circle where the writer tries to get support for the idea what does it mean read the passage again and circle the part in which the author the person who wrote this passage is trying to get your opinion in which part of here circle the, the words in which the author is trying to get your opinion or to get support from you to the idea that the cell phone is the most important invention where the author is trying to get your opinion in what part circle those words okay so this number one is homework for you and number three also i already help you with number two so what you have to do now it's too little so we are already finished our class and remember to send me your picture your photos to my whatsapp but most important of all enjoy every moment of your life blessings